housing and accommodation. One, what kind of housing accommodation do you live in? I live in an apartment building. My family owns two apartments right next to each other, and I live in the smaller apartment with my sister. My mother and father and my father's parents live in the other. Two, how do you like it? Oh, I like it very much. I live quite high up, and I have a wonderful view of the city. And it is very convenient to live near my parents, as my mum often cooks for us when we are very busy. Three, what kind of decorations does it, do the rooms, have? The apartment is very nicely furnished, though simple. We have a brand new living room set, a couch, and two chairs, which my parents picked out. My sister and I picked out the curtains and lamps and knickknacks, so. That it has some kind of a Middle Eastern style. We decorated our own rooms with all the things we saved from growing up. Four. What kind of house or apartment do you want to live in? I want to live in a little house in the country, with two floors and a big attic and basement, and wide gardens and orchards around it. I would probably have to live in an apartment in town most of the time. And I would like my apartment to also have two floors. Five. Which is your favorite room in your home? My favorite room is my room. Because it has my bed and things in it, and a little window seat where you can sit in the sunshine and look outside. When I want to get away from everything for a while, I can escape to my room, surrounded by the things I love that remind me of happy memories. And if I want to chill, I can play computer games whenever I want. <laughs> Six. Which room does your family spend most of the time in? My family spends most of their time in the living room. We often watch DVDs together, or we just talk about our day. And if we have friends or relatives over, we will all go into the living room to sit and talk and eat some snacks. Seven. What would you say is the best thing about your home? My favorite thing about my home is the big terrace we have. It's a very pleasant place to sit in the warm weather. There is a secret door inside a closet that leads out onto the terrace, and we have a picnic table and chairs out there, so you can just go out there under the sky and read a book or look up into the clear blue sky. <laughs> Eight. Would you like to move to another place? Not now, but eventually, yes. Because I think I would be bored to live in the same place for too long. I would miss my parents, so it would be hard to move away from home. But at the same time, I am anxious to have a life of my own. Plus, I think that living in a big city is very impersonal, and I would like to live in a different place. Neighbors. Describe one of your neighbors. You should say, 
How long you have known this neighbour? What sort of person they are? How often you see them? And explain what kind of relationship you have with them. I would like to talk to you about a neighbour that lives next door to me. I just moved into a new apartment, so I didn't know anyone. But this neighbour is an older woman, and she was very friendly when I first met her. She saw me move in all my things, and I think she felt sorry for me, or something, because she offered to buy me some vegetables at the market. She said that she gets them very cheap, and that I would have to pay a lot in the store. At first, I told her not to buy anything for me, as I didn't want to bother her, but she insisted and kept assuring me that she wanted to buy vegetables for me. So finally, I agreed. I was so surprised when she showed up at my door later, as I was arranging my new apartment. She had an armful of onions. She told me that they are very healthy, so I gave her some money for the onions. Then she went home, and I continued cleaning and unpacking. Later that day, or the next day, I don't remember. She knocked on my door again. She had made a special dish from her hometown. And she brought me a little bowlful. I thanked her, and she seemed very happy that she could do things for me. I think she is a very motherly type of person, and it makes me feel good that even though I live away from my family, I have a caring person like her as a neighbour. Part three: Neighbours. One, do you think neighbors are important? I think neighbors are very important because they are some of the people that you are around every day. If you ever have a problem, you may need to ask a neighbor for help, since they are right nearby. If you are new in a place, you can always ask a neighbor where to find something, and they are also right there if you are in danger. And knowing they are there might make you stronger or less afraid. Two, what are the qualities of a good neighbor? I think the most important quality of a good neighbor is friendliness. For example, saying hello when you see each other is a good quality. I often speak to my neighbors and try to be friendly, because one day I might be lonely and sad. And if I have been friendly to my neighbors, they will be friendly to me and cheer me up. I also like for my neighbors to be patient and honest. If I make noise and disturb them, I would like them not to get angry, but to just tell me that the noise is bothering them. I also think neighbors should be polite and not disturb each other unnecessarily. Three, now that most people watch a lot of TV. How do you think this has affected relationships with neighbors? I think TV watching has had a very bad effect on relationships between neighbors. In the old days, people would go out for a walk in the evening or sit outside their houses. They would make friends and keep up with what was happening in their neighborhood. But now, many people just plop down in front of the TV in the evening and are couch potatoes. Having this kind of habit. Keeps people from being able to build close relationships with their neighbors and even members of their own family. Four, do you think it's important to teach children how to have good relations with neighbors? I think it is important for children to be polite to neighbors. If your children offend your neighbors, then it is hard for you to have a good relationship with your neighbors because they will be upset by what your children have done. One thing that is important for children to learn in life is how to relate to others. It is actually a good opportunity for them to learn this in their interactions with the people they live close to. Five. How has the relationship between neighbors changed over the last twenty years? I think that twenty years ago, people cared more about each other. I think that neighbors saw themselves as a kind of group to help each other. But now, with so much violence and dishonesty in the world today, I think many people are afraid to get involved with others. 
they don't know if they might be taken advantage of or get in trouble in some way. However, I think that inside, people want to find friends, and they want to love. As Mother Teresa said, Everyone, no matter what color or creed, wants to love and be loved. I believe that even though we may not be perfect, I think we all would like to live harmoniously with our neighbors and others around us. Community 6. What are some of the qualities of a good community? I think the most important quality of a good community is to be unified. That doesn't mean that every single person has to think exactly the same thing, because that is not possible. But I think they should all have the same ideals. In other words, to be compassionate and concerned about each other, to want to be honest and trustworthy. I know this sounds idealistic, but if you only want to better yourself and live to make yourself rich or more comfortable, you soon find that nothing makes you happy anymore. But if you can incorporate giving into your lifestyle, then you do not lose the joy of living. 7. In China, are there many facilities for improving relations between neighbors? Well, there are some, but not very many. In the old days, the people in China simply had time, and this helped to facilitate relations between neighbors. Spending time really means the most in almost any relationship. If you spend time to talk or listen, that goes far to build good neighborly relations. Of course, Having a place to go to mix and mingle with people your own age also helps. You can see these facilities springing up here in China. Describe one of your neighbors. You should say, How long you have known this neighbor? What sort of person they are? How often you see them? And explain what kind of relationship you have with them. 1. Do you think neighbors are important? 2. What are the qualities of a good neighbor? 3. Now that most people watch a lot of TV, how do you think this has affected relationships with neighbors? 4. Do you think it's important to teach children how to have good relations with neighbors? 5. How has the relationship between neighbors changed over the last 20 years? 6. What are some of the qualities of a good community? 7. In China, are there many facilities for improving relations between neighbors?